contest as we get you introduced to exactly who will be playing. And look at that, in goal, Clark will start with the gloves. He's injured early in the season, but he's rebounded well to get back in contention. But look out for that man, Keon Williams, who wears the number 10. He will be the man they will bank on to get the goals. Julian Roberts, the former Pivo midfielder, is on the bench. Yeah, Williams up front, certainly the focal point for Pleasantville. And Clark making that recovery to make sure that he gets the gloves and the start this afternoon. Well, it's a more familiar look when you look at the team in green. Two-time Intercall champions since 1964. Four times South Dillon Intercall champions prior to that. And they've got a team that have been there, done that. Won the league last year with Nashawn Alexander and company. Niles, Jeremiah Niles will be expected to pick up some of the slack, while Malachi Webb will be one of those entrusted to get the goals with Joseph in attack. Well, Niles in the middle of the park. No, sure. One yellow card away from suspension. Definition goal in a 4-2-1-3 formation. Very fluid. Webb will be the focal point for St. Benedict's College. All right, let's roll the tape. Look back at the pictures. Early error inside the second minute. And Malachi Webb make them pay. Oh, nobody was getting a hand anywhere close to that. The indirect free kick, that was 1-0. Then Niles parting the sea and Grant doing the honors. Clever finish. All it needed was a toe. Well, they perhaps having the best view, reliving the moment. And then Jones, look at this. Whoopsie! Getting past one. And getting the third. Three must have been the magic number. Look at that. Silky smooth. Wonderful finish. It's ironic that he scored the third goal because three was the number that would stick around in his memory for a while because he would get more. Almost in similar fashion. Burst of pace, too much for anybody. And that was his second, St. Benedict's fourth. Oh, Clark, perhaps disgusted by the sight of the back of Jones every single time. Look at this. Knight your socks side, anybody? Whoosh. And then the whoosh in the net. Daddy in the crowd, and of course, well, don't know what you call that celebration. And then later, the free kick, the dagger into the heart of Pleasantville Secondary. That was the hat trick. And that's the goal that will make him the talking point of St. Benedict's College tomorrow. Somebody might be buying him lunch. Three goals. <laughs> there we go. They know what the deal is. All right, let's see how we can crunch the numbers. And, uh, well, if you're in a content, it's very simple. St. Benedict's College, dominant. Look at that, shots. Only two on target for Pleasantville. Well, 16 fouls in total, spread about evenly. St. Benedict's College dominating possession. But St. Benedict's College also dominating the scoreline. Five to their credit. Tell you what, three of those five belongs to one man. And that man is standing by with Hans Devines. From Labre, here's your trophy man of the match, your NGC man of the match, Daniel Jones, better known as Pamo Jr. Tell me, who do you dedicate this trophy to today? Um, my dad and my mom, and he stands there, if you yeah. could see. You know, um, it's just a pleasure to get this for the first time, and hopefully I could continue on repetition. All right, now how do you prepare for the next matchup? It's going to be either Naparima College or Presentation College. Who do you want to meet and how are you going to prepare? Um, well, football is playing the day. So, you know, but what I could say is keep doing the same thing and professionalism is consistency. So just keep doing the same thing and keep going forward. Well, we look forward to the consistency. Congratulations to you. You are NGC, man of the match. Over to Colin Murray with the coaches.